A great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit every single week. Lady Adafruit uses the power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you need on digikey.com. What is the great search this week, Lady Ada? Okay, this week, great search is a buck boost converter that will run off of either two AA batteries or um, a five volt input. And I, you know, you'd have like an ideal diode input into those. So um, assume that you have about two volts to five volts input and 3.3 volts output. Let's look at my schematic on the computer and I'll show what I'm replacing. Um, well, let me hide this part, give me more, give me a little more space on the screen. Um, so this is what I'm doing on this design, which is, it's a little unkosher, but you know, bear with me. I have this board where VBAT is about two volts. It's two AA batteries, so it's two to three volts. And I want to get 3.3 volts out in the end, but I also have either AA batteries or five volts plugged in through USB. So this VBAT boosts up to 3.8 volts through this TPS61023. And then it has a little, like an OR diode power selector here with VBUS, which is USB five volts. And those go into an LDO to give me a clean 3.3 volt, which is fine. But it's a little bit like, you know, boosting and bucking, whatever. If you want to have like an all-in-one solution, what you could do is get a buck boost converter, something that will take either the high voltage VBUS, 5.5 max, 5 volts, or as little as VBAT, 2 volts, and give you somewhere in between, right? So it's like, usually you have a, a boost converter from a low to high or a buck converter from a high to low. But what if you have input that could be either higher or lower, you want a buck boost converter, right? Which is like great marketing. It's like, is it a buck? Is it a boost? Dessert topping, floor wax, buck boost converter. So let's go to digikey.com and we'll find a buck boost converter. So let's search for a buck boost. And we want a voltage regulator, not a controller. The controllers usually you have to connect external transistors and, and diodes and you have to like, it, it's just, it controls the regulator um the regulation circuit we want something that's all in one we're a little lazy we kind of want uh we want like a bento box it has a little bit of everything and we don't have to think too much let's go with something that's active and we want one output and the output we want is 3.3 volts uh so we'll just say hey you know it can be positive or negative or positive only we don't want a negative output often um these dc converters can also invert the voltage for you but we don't want that we want something that's normally stocking and just for now we're going to exclude marketplace so just stuff that's stocked at digikey right now um we also uh want a synchronous rectifier that means that we don't need an external diode it usually means your performance is a little bit better because uh, instead of you know if you've ever studied buck or boost conversion you know, there's two switches right you're switching um through an inductor back and forth and sometimes people replace one of those switches with a diode. Very inexpensive, works very well. But if you want a little bit more efficiency and often the price isn't too different and usually you get true power disconnection, um, a synchronous rectifier. I personally like synchronous rectifiers, but we all have our preferences. And then um, the input, the minimum input, remember we're gonna have two AA batteries, AA batteries, when they get down to like their lowest level, it's about, you know, 0.9 volts. So you want something that can handle 1.8 volt input at a minimum. And uh, the maximum 5.5 or six, that's fine because we're again, USB is 5.5 max. So let's apply that really cut it down because we, um, we limited, we only want like a low voltage regulators. And there's a couple of really good options already. We're starting to see like a bunch of chips come in here and look at all these in stock components. Wow, isn't that wonderful? A real change um, to see so much in stock. One thing I don't want is uh, anything with BGA because I'm kind of not a fan of BGAs. So I'm going to option click and I go through and I, because you can search for a filter, but you can't like reverse filter. So I'll uh, I'll go through and I'll deselect those. Okay, so now I've got a hundred options, which is a really good thing to look at. Okay, so we've got a couple 
options sorting by price looks like you're going to pay like about a dollar um not too surprising ti is um well it's actually also let's look also in stock only all right so we've got 56 options not surprisingly um rich tech they make a lot of power supplies regulators ti has a lot and you'll notice that tps 63 series um we actually stock a uh, breakout board with the TPS 63. I think all their buck, they, they have a line of buck boost converters called the TPS 63. Um, 63060 is what we use here. This is a five volt buck boost from three to 12 volts. It gives you like 500 milliamps or an amp. So it's, yeah, these are nice chips. I've used this family before. So that's kind of good to know. Um, there's a couple in this series. It uh, looks like different current, you know, built in current limiting. Um, there's also Rome. There's also a few that have different either adjustable or fixed outputs. So you see some of these are fixed, some of these are adjustable. Um, since 3.3 volts is really, really common, I'm going to just select 3.3 uh, volt fixed output. Now I get down to like 10 options. Again, all these are going to be really good. I'm not going to say like the Renaissance one, TI is good. Because I've used um, TI before, I'm probably going to just look at this one first. The next thing you want to look at is this. I mean, you want to simulate this and make sure it's, of course, it's a good chip for you. And TI has a good simulator for all their chips. But you a pretty, I have to kind of approximate how much current I'm going to need out of this thing. So I'm going to need about like at least 500 milliamps to drive that speaker. Um, and the ESP32, especially if it's going into Wi-Fi mode. So like 500 milliamps is kind of like my thing. But remember that the 500 milliamps is not the switch current. The switch current has to be the max peak coming from inside the lowest voltage that could go in. So if you're at 1.8 volts, you're pretty much doubling. So I need at least one amp of switch current. And so these uh, 800 and 900 are not they're they're really at the limit. I don't think that they're going to necessarily be able to supply how much current I need. Um cuz again as the battery dies, I'll say it's going to be hard to get that much current out of a dead battery, but you know, you also have to give yourself some um give yourself like a 20-25% um uh headroom for inefficiencies in the circuitry. So let's go with like a 1.6 plus current it says output, but they usually that's actually the switch current, not the current output, because on a buck boost, they, they're optimistic. And then um, some good options. So I actually kind of like this, um, this TPS 61030. I mean, it's a dollar, which is a really good deal um, in quantity, and they have lots in stock. So this one is kind of nice. I mean, I've, I've used this family. Look at the data sheet real fast. Um, 1.8 to 5.5, um, up to 1.2 amp output in step down, 800 milliamps from 2.4 volts. So yeah, about 500 milliamps from uh, 1.8 volts. Really low quiescent current, which is good. I want it to work, like I've mentioned in the previous segment. Um, this is gonna mostly be on all the time and only playing audio when somebody presses a button. So the boost converter will kind of always be running. So quiescent current, a good quiescent current is uh, important. And um, also really simple, easy to use schematic. I mean, some input bulk capacitance output, and then doctor, notice you don't need a diode because it's synchronous, um, and you don't need to do uh, feedback um, resistor divider either because it's a fixed 3.3 volt output. So. This is my pick, the TPS 63001, a lovely buck boost converter. That's a great search. Wait.